dresses are your most common type of dress. They are made out of a cotton or broadcloth and can be any color or printed material that is period correct, of course. Now, day dresses can have trim, but only on the bodice and the sleeves of the dress. Also, day dresses are pretty self-explanatory. They're worn during the day. As you see here, day dresses do not have to be one piece. Some of them are constructed as a blouse and a skirt that are just made out of the same fabric. This dress is also a nice example of having trim just on the bottom of the bodice. On the next dress you see, there is a good example of trim just on the sleeves. Here is the pagoda sleeve. Sleeves at this time were generally quite wide and very full, especially right at the elbow. This was all part of an illusion to make your waist look smaller because a tiny waist was very fashionable. Now, since the pagoda sleeve does not cover your entire arm, you wore an undersleeve. Undersleeves tie right above the elbow and go down to your wrist because, as etiquette states, a lady was not allowed to show her wrist until later in the day. In all the photographs I've seen from the 1860s, women are wearing a white or light colored collar with their day dresses. These collars are detachable so that you can wear them with a lot of different dresses, and most of these collars were no more than two and a half inches wide. Also, most women were wearing a pin or brooch at the center of their collar. Belts were also a popular accessory because they brought attention to the tiny waist. Now here is an example of a very nice day dress. There is trim on the sleeves while there is no trim on the skirt, but a little ruffle adds something different.